Hello, this is Matt Minnick for Bengals Chalk Talk. Big week to kick off free agency. Uh, and the Bengals made some big moves. Uh, already covered DJ Reader uh, on this station. So if you didn't see me watching film with DJ Reader, make sure you go back and check that out. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a couple of corners that the Bengals picked up. Uh, the the half of the Minnesota Vikings defensive the backfield that the Bengals uh, signed, Trey Waynes and Mackenzie Alexander. So we'll take a, a look at them, talk about them a little bit. Uh, Trey Waynes, uh, first-round draft pick on Michigan State, real fast, uh, 4'3", 140 at the combine. He uh, is about six foot tall, so good size too. Uh, so on paper, real good addition. Uh, does, some, does some good things, uh, but just never really fully reached his potential. Uh, so I think they're 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 projecting a little bit, you know, especially with that salary. They're they're hoping that they can get a little bit more out of him uh, and and reach his you know maximum p- potential uh, with the Bengals. So we'll take a look at this first clip now. Don't fall, all right. Uh, the ball's going to go the other direction. We're going to talk about uh, the left corner. Waynes is primarily the left corner, although he does uh, occasionally follow a receiver around. So we're going to watch here at the bottom. I'm going to hit it real slow. All right, we're going to see he's patient. Eye, he's got his eyes on the hips. The receiver comes in. He puts his right hand out, then brings his left, and stays right on top of that in-breaking route, really flattening out that route. So that's a good look right there. Uh, and we're going to see something similar here as we um, – As we get into the next game, all right, so actually this is going back a week. That was their first matchup against the Packers. This is uh, week one against the Falcons. We're going to see down here at the bottom, again, real patient, has his eyes in the hips, and look, here comes the hitch, and he's right there with it, right there with it, mirroring it, turning, making the break as the receiver does. Right, both their hips go down. He comes back to it. And that's first down depth. You know what I mean? So that that's uh, that doesn't seem like a huge thing, but that could potentially be a really big play for them uh, to be able to save that first down. We're going to go to their other matchup with the Packers a little bit later in the season. Uh, so this is also against the Packers in week 16 now. Uh, and up at the top of the screen, we're going to see a cover two look. Again, he's the left corner, top of the screen, right up there. He is getting his jam. He is sinking off, all right? And look, he gets his eyes inside, right? Now, the only, you know, he's got a couple threats here. He's got a tight end. He's got this receiver, all right? So he's a receiver, and then as the receiver's going by, he's looking what's going to come into his uh, curled flat area. You know, what's going to really threaten him next is what he wants to find out. So he's going to keep his eyes to the inside as he gets his jam. All right, tight end's working away. He sees the crosser. He's patient with it, reading the quarterback, but aware of that crosser the whole time. All right, so that's a really good look there. Uh, And then we're going to go to their matchup in week nine against the Chiefs. Now, look, you'd love to see a corner matchup against the Chiefs. It's going to show you a lot, but unfortunately, uh, this is not the Patrick Mahomes Chiefs. Uh, This is the period when when Mahomes was out. Uh, But we'll still see some good things. We see some good receiver matchups here. All right, so he is going to be at the top of the screen. All right, and we see a great break. Awesome hit, awesome tackle. All right, and he actually causes the drop here. All right, by coming down hard and fast and making this play. All right, so this is a really good job. He's playing loose. All right, playing loose. They throw the hitch on second and three. Boom. Boom. Removes the ball from the receiver, all right, with the force of that hit. And, uh, and hey, guess what? It's third and three now, all right? So good job, good break on that. Now, a little bit later, they ended up forcing a punt here, but unfortunately, uh, they weren't forcing a punt on the next drive. So a little bit later, he's the left corner again, and we'll see up at the top of the screen, matched up against Kyrie Hill. All right, Hill's going to work to the inside. Now, right away, he's in pretty good position initially here, right? 
Hill doesn't kill him off the line, right? He's almost in position to overlap him, but man, something happens there and Hill just runs away. So that opens it up and it's a touchdown. All right. Now, let's take a look. What happened? We'll take a look at the tight shot. All right. Not the usual way that you look at uh, corners, but it's going to work here. All right. So, look, he is chasing to the inside, which really we overlook how important it is to not get beat horizontally. All right. Uh, as opposed to vertically, you know, everybody's worried about getting beat deep. But sometimes you get beat deep by getting beat horizontally. That's what happened here. He was beat so hard to the inside that his momentum is really taking him in, not up. Even though he's he's in front of Hill at this moment, right? His momentum's taking him too much in, and he's really reaching, trying to get in, all right? And as he does that, he's locking himself out, and Hill just runs away from him, right? Just runs away from him. So, you know, what do you do here? I mean, you got to cut down that space a little bit quicker. You got to stay, you know, you got to stay on his hip. Um, so, I mean, you know, that that's a that's a difficult look because it's not like he just should just run and stay on the top of him because he can break it off. All right, uh, you know, he he is stemming it to the inside right now, but he actually absolutely could go, uh, you know, across on a dig. He could hitch it up. You don't want him to be running past him when he's doing those things. So it puts you in a in a tough spot. All right, you got to keep, you got to stay tighter here. All right, so they can't manipulate you uh, in that way. Now he's usually better against those uh, sort of situations, you know, and we're going to see that here. Or again, the left corner is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Nelson Aguilar is the receiver for the Eagles, and we get a deep fade and look. And impress that shoulder, right? That's taken away that horizontal space like I'm talking about, right? Now I'm not doing it on the sideline, which is a little easier to work with because the sideline is your friend as a defender, right? It's another defender there, right? But he is working towards that shoulder, taking away that space, all right? And that's a big part of that incompletion is him understanding that space on this play. Uh, so... Look, I mean, that, that, that's the story of this guy. Uh, he can do some good things. He's very fast, you know, real good athlete. Um, but there are some inconsistencies, all right? There are some inconsistencies. He gives up too many big plays. Uh, so hopefully something that, that the, the coaches with the uh, Bengals staff can get uh, can a little bit with, uh, but definitely a concern right now. All right, so now we're going to take a look at Mackenzie Alexander. Now, he is more of a slot defensive back, uh, so we're going to see him more in that role, which was uh, a need for the Bengals. So the first clip we'll look at here is against the Eagles, uh, and we're actually going to see an interception here. Uh, he's matched up with uh, Dallas Godert. All right, up here on the top in the slot. All right, patient with the bender, turns around right as the receiver is looking for the ball and makes a play in the ball. All right, so good look there. Matched up, matched up, looking for it. Boom, turns around, good ball skills, good reaction on that one. Excellent job. All right, now we're going to go to the uh, Cowboys game in week 10. This is going to be in the third quarter. All right, and we're going to see him once again up here in the slot. All right. Makes the read on the quarterback, jumps underneath, and makes a play on the ball. Knocking that ball down. That's a really good job right there. Fast break, good read in the quarterback, playing the ball. All right, so excellent work. Love to see that. Now, let's take a look a little bit earlier in that same game, all right, back in the second quarter. And we're going to see a little bit of his speed. So we saw a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a jolt right there, a little bit of burst right there to make a break on the ball. And 
that's not the place I want to be. Okay, sorry, one clip earlier. <laughs> All right, so we saw that. Now we're going to see up here at the top of the screen what happens when he gets a little bit behind and some of the burst he has and how he can make that up. All right, so we got the bend, and he's not in a great spot, but then look at the burst to take it away. Whoop! Making up that speed right there and matched up with the receiver. So a good look right there. All right, and then we're going to go to the Packers game in week 16. And we're going to start off here in the second quarter. All right, and we're going to see a crosser. And again, him making a play on the ball. All right, knocking that ball down. Okay, so this is in the goal line, matched up. Again, as that crosser fights to get underneath, boom, makes a play on the ball. So he's always getting his hands on the ball. All right, and that's definitely what you want to see. You want you want corners that are not making tackles all the time. You want corners that are getting their hands on the ball, getting deflections, uh, and forcing you know forcing it uh, up the kind of downs. Uh, so definitely a good look right there. We're going to go into the second half. All right, and. Now we're going to see one of his flaws. So sometimes he opens his hips a little quickly. All right. So he's right down here. Uh, and this will happen where he'll open his hips too quickly and boom, something's open. All right. So he flipped his hips to the outside. The receiver got open to the inside. Uh, and I feel like watching this game in week 16, I feel like Green Bay was picking on him a little bit with things like that. So, you know, sometimes he just needs to show a little bit more patience. Uh, in, in these situations, uh, you, you know, you don't want to get beat deep, obviously. It's important to stand on top of things deep, uh, but you don't want to go up the stuff underneath either. Uh, so that's one thing I see with him a little bit is a little quick sometimes to flip his hips, uh, a little too worried about that stuff. We're going to go later in this same quarter. All right. And now the other thing about playing the slot is – you're essentially an outside linebacker, all right? I mean, like in a, you know, in, in a typical like defensive style, all right? You know, you're filling that same sort of role and you have some similar run fits uh, to what an outside linebacker would have in, in a 4-3 defense, okay? So it is important, uh, you know, that you're tough, that you're physical, you can come up, you can make some plays. And that's something that the Bengals have, have had over the last few years and are going to look for from McKenzie. So, Mackenzie Alexander here, right up at the top. Now he gets cut, but bounces right up and makes a tackle on that. All right. So I like that. Now, good. Hey, that's a six yard gain, right? It's not, not like it's really a positive play for the defense, but I like what I'm seeing here because he's in a tough position getting, getting cut there. All right. Not laying on the ground, not complaining about it. He gets up and he makes a play on that one. So some good stuff there. We're going to go into the fourth quarter. Uh, and see a little bit more of him playing physical, all right, and, and what he can do against the run game, all right. Uh, in the fourth quarter here, we're going to see him get off a block and come up and make a tackle on the run, okay? So they have a bunch. He's right up here, all right? They're going to give it to Aaron Jones, gets off the block, all right? Almost got away from him, but he reached out and he made the tackle. All right, so real good play here. Uh, you know, they end up getting three yards on the play, but certainly could have been a lot more. All right, so he gets his hands on, gets off the block, uh, and makes a play right there. So good look uh, on that one. Now, I do think that as a tackler, uh, he is very reliable. However, he's not always pressing the line of scrimmage. Uh, and you know, it, it seems like a lot of times he's, he's getting in there a, a little bit make, late and making plays uh, a little bit more down the field than you'd like. Uh, but both of these additions, you know, can can be very good additions. I think uh, Alexander is a is a solid pickup uh, to the role that that they needed uh, at the slot corner. I think Trey Wayans is a guy with a ton of potential that hasn't been fully reached in the NFL, but he is a guy with some great speed um, and. You know who who can match up uh, with uh, you know with those speedy receivers, uh, and you know he's he's got decent size too at, at, at six feet tall. You know he's not undersized for for a guy with that type of speed. So 
couple of a couple of pretty solid additions here. All right, uh, you know neither one is a uh, you know is exactly a world beer. They both have some things that they need to uh, clean up that need to be uh, you know watched, but both could be very uh, very solid players for the Bengals in the future. So looking forward to what these guys do in Cincinnati. So uh, now on this topic, uh, as we we wrap up. Uh, this uh this segment um make sure you check out the podcast download the podcast this week i'm going to be talking to dom claire uh who uh, is in the media in the minnesota area uh about these two players uh so definitely check out that conversation uh we'll have lots of other great conversations coming up about the bengals offseason about the upcoming draft uh and uh we'll keep pumping out videos like this as well on the uh free agents draft prospects and all those sorts of things so Thanks for uh, checking out the video today and uh, keep checking back. We'll